Hello and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. Today we're going to be unboxing and testing the Edifier G2000 gaming speakers. These speakers come with a great range of features including three connectivity options which are Bluetooth, USB and auxiliary, as well as this the speakers have three audio modes with preset EQ options for gaming, music and movies. In addition to this, the speakers have RGB accent lighting on either side of both speakers, as well as a larger RGB area on the back, which comes with 12 preset colours and modes, which will be showcased later on in this video. With that being said, the speakers come in at about $100 or £90 on Amazon, so let's get into the unboxing and find out if these small statured gaming speakers are the right choice for you. Inside the well presented and packaged box we have the expected paperwork including a detailed and concise user manual and an after sale service card with contact information and some product tips. One of these tips is how to adjust the startup and shutdown sounds for the speakers which you'll see a little bit later on in this video. Also included in the box we have a good length power adapter which I'd say is roughly 2 meters. as well as this we've also got a really nice quality aux cord and then finally a USB type A to USB type A cable which is unfortunately a little on the short side, although if this is an issue for you then they're pretty cheap to pick up a replacement one. Delving deeper into the box we find the well protected speakers each in their own protective bag. Unfortunately here we can see that the speakers are non detachable which can be an issue for some people regarding the ease of setting up and the speakers placement. But aside from that I can quite honestly say that the design of the speakers especially for their size is very appealing thanks to the matte and glossy accents. You can see their various lighting zones on the side and back of each speaker and I have to admit that the quality of the speakers overall is surprisingly good. Although, as I mentioned in practically every video now, I would love to see more companies adopt both white and black variants for their products, especially when it comes to gaming peripherals. I really think the white version of these speakers would look even better than they already do. The base of each speaker has four small rubber feet to avoid any slipping and marking of surfaces, and the right side speaker has the control panel on which is easily accessible on its side. From here you can adjust the various features that I mentioned at the start of this video, but this will all be showcased very shortly. In regards to the technical specification, each speaker has its own 2.75 inch full range speaker within it, each of which supports 16 watts of RMS or root mean square, with a peak wattage of 32. This basically means that no matter how loud you want the volume, you're still going to get back a high fidelity and clear sound output. The control panel on the side of the speaker is very easy to use, with single presses and long presses allowing you to perform certain actions, although I personally do prefer a volume wheel over this style of switch as it gives you that little bit more control to find the perfect volume setting. On the back of the speaker we also have the USB input, power input, aux input and the optional bass output as well, although as you'll see later on in this video, the bass from these things, especially for their size, is absolutely phenomenal. But it is important to remember that I am by no means an audiophile and I'm looking at this purely from an average consumer's perspective. Bluetooth input. USB input. Aux input. Music mode. Game mode. Movie mode. So as you've just seen powering the speakers on results in an engine startup sound, which on one hand is kind of cool, but the novelty does soon wear off. Thankfully this can be changed by following the instructions on the after sale service card which I mentioned at the start of this video. As well as this, a single press of the top button allows you to toggle between the various input modes, whilst the long press would result in the speakers turning off. The central volume rocker does what it says on the tin, and on the lower button a single press will allow you to change between the preset EQ settings for games, movies and music, whilst the long press will allow you to change between various colours, as well as a fading option for each of those. Whilst I do really like the accent lighting, it is quite dim, and in my room with pre-existing RGB, the effect of the lights is quite hard to spot. But that's enough about the aesthetics, so let's take a listen to how the speakers work in various scenarios. Enjoy. Turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the highways.
Rick, Morty, why me? Did something happen to Elon Musk in your own reality? No, no, he's fine, but this is a team operation, and regular Elon can be a little bit controlling. I am Spider-Man, and I've really messed up. Wait, you're, you're being serious right now? Mm -hmm. You're not joking with me, like you're 100% serious because it's not funny. No, I'm not joking. Because I was I was only like 67% sure. Uh, MJ? So why why are you here? Why, why, MJ? why are you on this school trip? MJ, look, I know you have a lot of questions, but look, we really have to get out of here, okay? There it is. Uh, okay. Oh my God, is this the start menu? It's like a Mac. Why did that getting started thing go away? And why is search a separate button now? The Windows button already was search. So wait, does, the, does this not have search? Hello? Bluetooth input. As I said earlier, I'm by no means an audio expert, but wow, these things really pack a punch for their size with the clarity and bass being exceptional, even at higher volumes and especially for this price. It works well with music, games and movies, with voice relayed really clearly, which is an issue that I've had with other speakers. I didn't notice a huge difference between the EQ settings, but it's nice to have them there to test out regardless. As well as this, connecting via Bluetooth was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had. It took just one second to locate and connect to the speakers, making it extremely practical. Although audio isn't my area of expertise, I could quite easily recommend these speakers to you, with the only noticeable drawbacks for me being the non-detachable cable and dim RGB with no music syncing features. If you'd like more information, please check the links down in the description. And as always, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.